Today, we are going to look at the differences between batch learning and online learning. Subscribe now to not miss any more tech-related videos like this one. Let's go! With batch learning, our system must be trained on the whole data set. It is not able to learn from the data incrementally. This is a time-intensive activity and large computing capabilities are required. But how does batch learning actually work? First, the system is trained without training data. Then, it is launched into production and runs without training anymore. It just applies what it has already learned. This is called batch learning or sometimes referred to as offline learning. If we want our batch learning system to know about new data, we would need to train a new version of the system with the whole data set, so the new data as well as the old data. Then, we would need to stop the old system from running on a productive environment and replace it with the new one. For sure this process can be automated, but nevertheless, training using the full data set requires time, normally a couple of hours, which means that we could train the system only each day or even just weekly. This does not make any sense if we need our system to adapt quickly to changing data, which would be the case for a system predicting stock prices for instance. Fortunately, a better option in all these cases is to use algorithms that are capable of learning incrementally. This is where online learning comes into place. Here, the system is trained step by step with data sets comprised in so-called mini-batches. Each learning step is fast and cheap, so the system can learn about new data on the fly as it arrives. Online learning is great for systems that receive data as continuous flows, so for instance stock prices, and need to adapt to change rapidly or autonomously. Online learning is a really good option if we have limited computing resources. Say we got new data, which we want to add to our model. The data is added to the training set and the model is trained. Then, the model immediately adjusts according to our new data. A major advantage is that once the online learning system has learned about new data instances, it does not need the data anymore, so we can discard it. This saves a lot of data space. Therefore, online learning algorithms can be used to train systems on huge data sets that cannot fit into one machine's main memory. This is called out-of-core learning. With out-of-core learning, the algorithm loads part of the data, runs a training step on the data and repeats the process until all of the data has been trained. With this, powerful machine learning models are enabled. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. See you next week.